here we are given a character array and the character array is h a t this is the character array what we want to do is that we want to print a pattern pattern will be that uh, first you print all the characters right so all the characters means that h a t will be the output then you replace one character with digit one so there are three possibilities it can be one a t or h one t or h a one right all all of these are digits one okay what we do is that we replace two characters with digit one so if you replace two characters with digit one then it will be one one t h one one or one a one these are the three possibilities and then what what we do is that we replace three characters with digit one so if you replace three characters with digit one then it will be one 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 the thing is that whenever the digits are consecutive like here one and one are consecutive in such a situation the output should be two t so we should add the digits similarly here the output will should be h2 and here the output should be three if the input character array is h a t then the output should be the following h a t 1 a t 1 t a 1 then h 2 1 a 1 and 2 t and finally 3 right this should be the output is the question clear so let's say the string is a b c d a b c d if this is the string then what will be the output the output will be a b c d then 1 b c d a 1 c d then a b 1 d then a b c 1 right uh, so this is all the characters this uh, this is when we replace one character with one then 2 c d when the first two characters are replaced with one right then a 2 d then a a 1 c 1 then 1 b 1 d right 1 b c 1 right and there are multiple such uh, such possibilities right i want to write them in an organized way so first thing that we should do during the interview is that write them in a logical way right because if we don't write them in a logical way then uh, we will not be able to come up with the logic right yes the viewer may give you uh, these patterns in such a haphazard way but what you should do is that you should write them in a more organized way right so here what we are doing is that first we are writing the characters as it is then first we are replacing first character with the digit then we are replacing the second character with the digit then we are replacing the third character then we are replacing the fourth character right now when we want to replace two characters then what we will do is that first two characters right then a is fixed b1 d then a is fixed b c 1 right okay so if you look here then what we have done is that we have fixed 1 in place of a and then yeah. we are trying to write the possibilities of b c d when we are when we are when we have replaced one character with digit 1 right so when b is replaced with 1 then it becomes 2 c d when c is replaced with 1 then it it becomes 1 b 1 d when d is replaced with 1 then it becomes 1 b c 1 right yeah similarly now we will keep uh, 1 fixed at b right so when we keep 1 fixed at b then a will be this only we have 1 fixed at b so it will be a 2 d and then a 1 c 1 right then we keep one fixed at c right so it will be a b 1 d 
and a b to right yeah so these are the these are the permutations when we are replacing two characters with digits right similarly when we are replacing three characters with digits then it will be 111d which means 3d right so this is 111d then next is 11c1 which means that 2c1 right then next is 11b2 right so 1b11 so this is when a is 1 now when a is not 1 then it can be a3 then it will be a3 right and that's it right so either a is uh, a is a itself or a is 1 so when a is a itself then there is only one possibility when a is 1 then there are these three possibilities right and yeah. the last one is that when we have all four as ones so this will be four so these are these should be the output when uh, we have string a b c d as input Th does it look like a permutation problem uh, yes i think instead of swapping we are placing that one right so actually uh, you know mathematically speaking it is not a permutation problem because uh, if h is coming then h is a all h will always come at the first position right mm, yeah so if h will come h will always come at the first position it is it is not possible that h will come at the second position right so in okay. that sense it is not a permutation problem right mm. but uh, the logic of permutation will still apply here all right so how how can we do it so what you are what you are saying is important somewhere what you are saying is that uh, at first position, we will fuck first fix H, then we will fix one. Yes. Right. So when we fix H at the first position, then at the second position we can fix A or one. Right. Yeah. Similarly, when we have one at the first position, then also at the second position we have two possibilities A and one. Right. Uh, yeah. And when H is at the first position, A is at the second position, then at the third position again we have two possibilities, T and 1. T and 1, yeah. Similarly, when H is at the first position, A is at the first position, then again at second uh, second position we have two possibilities, T and 1. So basically for all possible arrangements of first and second positions, we have, that we have two possibilities at the third position, which is T and 1. We want to print H A T. Right, so we want to print all the root to leaf paths in this tree. Mm. Right, this is a function called tree. Yeah. Right, this is a function called tree. This is for index zero. This is for index one, and this will happen for index two. Mm. Right. Yes. Sir. At all the indexes, we will take two decisions. One is that keep the character at that index as it is, and second is that uh, replace the character with digit one and follow right okay then h a 1 h a 1 will be printed then this will print h 1 t then this will print h 1 1 this will print h this will print 1 a t this will print 1 a 1 this will print 1 1 t and this will print 1 1 1 now when in the array in the printing logic we can uh, uh, we, uh, we can check that when the two digits are consecutive then instead of printing them as two separate digits add them and print the sum right what we've done is that we have decoupled the uh, arrangement logic with the printing logic what should be the code for this the code for this is simple void let's say the name of the function is print patterns print patterns then we have a character array let's say the name of the array is a and we will have the current index in the array that we are operating on right the initial value of this current index will be zero the initial value of this current index is zero now what we do is that first we will keep the current index as it is and then we will print all the patterns of the array 
starting from index CID plus 1. Right? After that, what we will do is that we will replace the current index of the array with 1. Replace the current index of the array with 1 and then print all the patterns starting from CID plus 1. Right? Okay. And after that, we should we should restore the array. Right? So this restoration is important otherwise you know uh, one will permanently stick there. So we have defined the recursion we just need to put the terminating condition what will be the terminating condition for this say that when everything is exhausted then just print the array right so if yeah. cid is equal to a dot length it means that uh, there is no element in the array right yeah. so when there is no element in the array then we will just print the array right uh, yes print array a and in this print array function we will keep a note that we should be adding the consecutive digits while printing right so we will come to that later okay right so let's see how it runs so it has printed all the patterns right okay so it has printed all the patterns just that it has, it has not added the uh, consecutive digits right mm. so it has yes. print, printed all the patterns and it has not added the consecutive digits so what you need to do is that you need to change the print array function right so that that is a simple code say, let's say i have this one one x one 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 y so what you will do is that you will keep a check that if it is uh, if it is uh, digits then you will just add them and print two if it is a non digit or a character then you will print it as it is then if it is a digit then you will add all of this all of these digits and if it is a non digit then you will print it as it is so the output should be this right so this is your homework right so just fix this print array function and this is your homework in in this one we just need to uh, add the consecutive ones and replace it in the first index and replacing may be very tricky because you know if you are replacing <coughs> let's say there are three uh, let's say there are eight ones hmm. so out of eight positions you will have only one character hmm, okay. right so then uh, re for replacing you will have to shift also Okay, then maybe, okay, okay, right. then print the add, add, the add value, I mean the summation value. Yeah, so basically you should, you should keep the summation in a cache, uh, in a local variable. In a local variable. Right, okay. because we are only interested in printing, okay. right. If we are interested in returning, then it is a different thing. Yes, yes. Any questions till now? No, sir. All right. So if you look at it, then you know, uh, this question is nothing but, uh, this, this question is basically coming from the, question of binary trees where we are printing all root to leaf path of a binary tree mm. right this function called tree is a binary tree right in fact it is a complete binary tree right okay. so in this binary tree if you are printing all the root to leaf paths then this is basically this question you know <coughs> we, sh we should be able to relate different questions which are uh, related to different data structures or different algorithms and we should bring the concept in the current question right uh, for example this question is related to strings and not to binary trees but when we are trying to solve it and when we try to draw this function called diagram and you know when we try to solve it logically uh, then we should be able to bring all those concepts here right